In Jack, researchers using the UK transcatheter aortic valve implantation registry described the midterm outcomes of a real world patient population treated with transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Data were collected on 870 transcatheter aortic valve replacement procedures performed within the United Kingdom. The findings certainly support the use of transcatheter valve technology. Survival at 30 days was 93%, 79% survival at one year, and 74% at two years. You might point out that 25% mortality at two years is high, but as a comparison, remember that medical therapy for aortic stenosis, including balloon valvuloplasty, has a mortality of about 50% at one year. Survival after transcatheter valve replacement was adversely affected by renal dysfunction, the presence of coronary artery disease, and a non-transfemoral approach, whereas left ventricular function less than 30%, the presence of moderate to severe aortic regurgitation, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease remain the only independent predictors of mortality in the multivariate analysis. It looks like transcatheter aortic valve replacement is carving out its place in our treatment armamentarium. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.